Ezra Venechem Yah. Nehemiah 8. And all the people gathered themselves together as one man into the street that was before the water gate. And they spoke unto Ezra the scribe to bring Eth the Sefer of the Torah of Moshe, which Yahuwah had commanded to Eth Yashar'el. And Ezra the priest brought Eth the Torah before the assembly both of men and women, and all that could hear with understanding upon the first day of the seventh month. And he read therein before the street that was before the water gate from the morning until midday before the men and the women and those that could understand. And the ears of all the people were attentive unto the sefer of the Torah, and Ezra the scribe stood up upon a pulpit of wood, which they had made for the purpose. And beside him stood Matithyahu, and Shema, and Anayah, and Uriyahu, and Kilchiyahu, and Maaseyahu, rather Maaseyahu, on his right hand, and on his left hand, Medayahu, and Mishael, and Malkiyahu and Chashum, and Chash Habadana, Zakariahu, and Meshalam. And Ezra opened the Sefer in the sight of all the people, for he was above all the people. And when he opened it, all the people stood up, and Ezra blessed Eth Yahuwah, the great Elohim, and all the people answered, Amen, Amen, with lifting up their hands, and they bowed their heads, and worshipped Yahweh with their faces to the ground. Also, Yahshua and Bani and Sherev Yah, Yamin, Achuv, Shabbathai, Hodiah, Maaseyahu, Kiryata, rather, Kilita Ezariahu, Zovadad, rather Zova, rather Zoavad, Chanan, Pelaya, and the Leviim, caused the people to understand the Torah, and that the people stood in their place. So they read in the Sefer in the Torah of Elohim distinctly and gave the sense, and caused them to understand the reading. And Nechemiah, which is the Tershatha, and Ezra, the priest, the scribe, and the Leviim that taught at the people, said unto all the people, this day is holy unto Yahweh Elohechem. Mourn not, nor weep. For all the people wept when they heard at the words of the Torah. Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, and drink the sweet, and send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Adonai. Neither be ye sorry, for the joy of Yahuwah is your strength. So the Leviim stilled all the people, saying, Hold your peace, for the day is holy, neither be ye grieved. And all the people went their way to eat and to drink and to send portions and to make great mirth, because they had understood the words that were declared unto them. And on the second day were gathered together the chief of the fathers of all the people, the priests and Leviim, unto Ezra the scribe, even to understand the words of the Torah. And they found written in the Torah, which Yahuwah had commanded by Moshe, that the children of Yashadael should dwell in Kukoth, in the feast of the seventh month, 
and that they should publish and proclaim in all their cities and in Yerushalayim, saying, Go forth unto the mount and fetch olive branches and pine branches and myrtle branches and palm branches and branches of thick trees to make kukoth as it is written. So the people went forth and brought them and made themselves kukoth, every one upon the roof of his house and in their courts and in the courts of the house of Elohim and in the street of the water gate and in the street of the gate of Ephraim. And all the assembly of them that were come again out of the captivity made kukoth and sat under the kukoth for since the days of Yahusha, the son of Nun, unto that day had not the children of Yashara'el done so. And there was very great gladness. Also, day by day, from the first day unto the last day, he read in the Sefer of the Torah of Elohim. And they kept the feast seven days. And on the eighth day was a solemn assembly according unto the manner.